Are you thinking of moving to Hemet, California, but you're just quite not sure whether or not Hemet is the right place for you? Well, in this video, I'm definitely gonna give you some of the advantages, but also some of the disadvantages that comes along with living in Hemet. So if you stay tuned at the end, I'm gonna share a market recap of the current market here in Hemet, California. So we're gonna get after it right now. So if this is your first time to this video and you want to know everything that there is about living, eating, breathing, playing in Hemet, California, then subscribe below. Tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in Hemet, California. Now, my name is Jonathan. We get calls, texts, emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're deciding to move in nine days or 90 days, you can always give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'll love to help you make that move to Hemet, California. Or if you're looking to move out of Hemet, California, for whatever reason, you could always give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'll love to help you make that smooth move out of Hemet, California. Now, Hemet, California, what is it really known for? Well, it was known for, I kid you not, it was known for being the home of Ramona Pageant, the Ramona Pageant, right? A lot of people don't know that, but yes, it, it is and it was, right? Now, back in the days, there was a, a whole lot going on in Hemet, and that's me being, being just brutally honest. And to this day, still not a whole lot going on, but it is a rapidly growing city. And I'm not going to deny that. Just like Menifee, California, where there's not a whole lot going on when it comes to nightlife or entertainment, right? It's definitely a booming town. And so is Hemet, California, right? And that's something I definitely wanted to kind of put out there up front, Right, because Hemet is it wasn't known for being the best city or you know being you know a known area. It just wasn't because it's kind of tucked away in between those San Jacinto Mountains, kind of more inland. So just wasn't really, really known. It is the last city before it you know gets really affordable, right? That in San Jacinto, right? Further than that, here in the inland empire, you're gonna go up in the other high desert, going past Beaumont and Banning into you know, desert hot springs, palm springs, palm desert, all that area where it's it's really the actual desert desert. So that's why kind of one thing about Hemet is it does have a better location than the further desert, you know, being out there in the very much hotness of today. But, you know, some people enjoy the desert and they're okay with the dry climate. Well, at any rate, that's not what this video is about. But what I'm saying is Hemet's definitely up and coming. And as the years have progressed, it's became pretty much one of the most affordable cities here in that Southern Riverside County area before you get into the desert. Now, I don't wanna to spill too much of the beans. What is there to do in Hemet? Well, again, there's not a whole lot, but that doesn't mean that they're not building for it, right? Now, there's, hope, there's some infrastructure that's trying to be built within Hemet, um, such as, you know, they are building a lot of residential homes. Now, if you were here 10, 15, 20, 30 years ago, you know there was nothing really in Hemet, just like pretty much all this Southern California, Southern Riverside County area. There just wasn't a whole lot. Well, now, you know, up and coming, now they got, you know, good grocery stores, supermarkets, stuff like that, home improvement stores, which we didn't have, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30, even 30 years ago. There was really nothing here. Well, now there is, so you can kind of see the rapid growth that this city is providing a lot of people because it's there now, right? Now, when it comes to that entertainment and that nightlife, I won't deny, Hemet has some great, great restaurants. I won't deny that. Um, and I, I do love going there for some, some of the great restaurants that they do have in Hemet, right? But other than that, when it comes to, you know, family entertainment, you probably are gonna go out a little bit further to another city to go to do stuff like that, right? Entertainment options is really what I'm trying to get at, right? Now, if you're an outdoor enthusiast, right? You like to go hike and you like to go outdoor, whether it's biking, whether it's just going on a hiking trail or ATV, motor crossing, stuff like that is definitely available in the surrounding areas of Hemet and within Hemet itself. So yes, if you're an outdoor enthusiast, yes, that's for sure one of the things that you're gonna have within Hemet, California. Now, all the other things associated with being indoors and, you know, having a little bit of fun, maybe, you know, going to a really great movie theater or an amusement park, right? Stuff like that not happening, not yet. 
Now, who's not to say that they're not bringing all these things to Hemet, California? Because they are. They're going to eventually, right? It's just one of those things with a growing city, more things have to progress. Now, without me again spilling all the beans of the pros and the cons, I definitely want to jump into pro number one. Pro number one of living in Hemet, California. And this is one of the key highlights I definitely want to point out. And that is affordable housing, just bottom line. Again, Hemet is one of the last cities that are is pretty much affordable here in that south uh, west region of Riverside County, right? Where we have Temecula, Marietta, Wildemar, Lake Elsinore, Menifee, Winchester. Then he goes on to Hemet and San Jacinto. Well, Hemet and San Jacinto is that line um, in that affordability. If you go further up, it can get pretty expensive. Uh, if you go somewhat north, let's say, for example, Redlands and Yucaipa, it can get a little bit pricier. So Hemet does still have some affordable housing still available. And that is one good, neat feature. Now, why is it that it's still affordable? Well, you know, you do have to drive a little bit more inland to get to Hemet, right? And again, kind of I mentioned, there's not a whole lot going on just yet. Right, so it does have a population of a little over 90,000 people, which is not a small city whatsoever. People think of Hemet like a small little city. It's actually really not. It's actually pretty populated, and um, it's pretty impressive actually because I mean, 90,000 people, and not a lot of people know of Hemet, California. That just comes to show you, right? I feel it's definitely underrated. So that right there, I think, is key number one: is that it does have affordable housing. Right, compared to that that southern uh, west region here in Riverside County, it's one of the more affordable places. Now, moving on to pro number two. Pro number two. Now, pro number two really is location. Even though it is tucked into that inland empire, you're not too far from everything of like your day your daily wants and needs but not only that entertainment is not too far away where you're driving like an hour or an hour and a half you're literally 20 minutes away from Temecula 25 30 depending on your areas right you can be in Riverside within 35 minutes you can be in all these places under 45 minutes and that's a big big thing right so even though you're stuck you know in your little bubble here in Hemet a little bit inland Who's not to say that you can't go to these things? I mean, you're you're still under two hours to LA, under two hours to San Diego. It's really not as bad as most people make it seem. And a lot of people definitely try to downplay it again, but it's not that bad, trust me, right? And so that is one of the great features of Hemet, California. It doesn't have a bad location whatsoever because I'm always in Hemet and I'm constantly selling houses in Hemet. And let me tell you, again, that drive is not bad whatsoever. I'm probably about 25 minutes from Hemet. And I'm in Menifee, California, and, and you know, I love it. And so I know a lot of people love it too, but it doesn't have a bad location. So that is key number two, moving on to pro number three. Now, pro number three, it is senior friendly. So there is a significant population of retirees in Hemet, California. Well, the simple fact that it does have, a, you know, some good 55 plus communities within Hemet that are really, really affordable. And hence why a lot of retirees move to Hemet, California, right? Just like Sun City in, in Menifee, California, where there's just a lot of homes that are for that 55 plus and over, right? Hemet has that as well which is just a neat option for retirees if they're looking kind of slow down, settle uh, down and just have a slower pace of living or they wanna make the best use of their buck. Well, Hemet, California is a great place for them because they have those community for you. And so I've personally helped friends of mine move into Hemet, into retirement communities because they are retiring. And so that is one great feature as well of living in Hemet, California. Moving on to pro number four. Now pro number four, and I've kind of mentioned this throughout all my videos, and that's the climate. So one thing about Hemet, it has that Mediterranean climate, just like any other city in this little Southwest region of Riverside, right? It has Mediterranean climate. What does that mean? And what it means is it doesn't get extremely, extremely hot, but it doesn't get extremely, extremely cold. 
Now, some years may vary. I'm going to say that because last year, you know, I'm saying all these things. And then next thing you know, all the freaking mountains are all snowed in, rainy, gloomy, stuff like that. It's just, you know, it's one of the odd things that happens here in Southern California. We don't get that very often, right? So, yes, in reality, in a normal cycle here is it doesn't get too cold and it doesn't get too hot. When I mean it doesn't get too cold, it doesn't get like Big Bear, California, where it's freezing, you know, it's snowing all the time. You get eight inches of snow or it doesn't get like Palm Springs or, you know, that area where it's 120 degree, 120 degrees like for a month straight, right? We don't get that type of weather. We kind of get the in-between where, you know, we can sit in the high 90s for, you know, a couple of days, maybe push a little bit of 100 for just a couple of days out of the year. Um, we can get in the low 40s. And so that's just kind of how the Mediterranean climate is. So it's a really beautiful weather here in Southern California. I personally enjoy it. Right, so that is pro number four. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you your veggies and move on to con number one. Con number one of living in Hemet, California, and I think this one is crucial. It is public transportation, just bottom line. It is not there, right? So public transportation, it just, it's something important to really have in a city in an area, which we do lack in general here. Again, that Southwest region of Riverside and here in Southern California, right? The closer you get to the coast, there's definitely a lot more public transportation. You got some trains, you got city buses, right? Things of that nature here, a little bit more inland. We're just not as developed. The infrastructure is not there. And so yes, lack of public transportation, it is a big feature, right? Especially if you're trying, if you don't have a car and you do rely on public transportation, it's just not there like it needs to be. And so, you know, I know for a fact that when I research these things and we talk about public transportation, it's gonna take some time to build up in these communities. But who's not to say in five, 10, 15 years, we, we will probably more than likely have it. And so that's something that this area is starting to build because the more crowded it gets, um, you're definitely gonna need public transportation. So that's something kind of just to look out in the future. Moving on to con number two. Con number two, I've already mentioned it, it's limited entertainment options right again you you are going to have to go a little bit further out to go to other areas to go enjoy entertainment so if you want to go to the wineries to so go drink wine and go to old town temecula to have some fun or bar hop or maybe you just want to go to the mall right you have temecula and riverside that you can always choose from there's mulligan's family uh family fun center in marietta or maybe you want to go in the summer months to drop zone water park water park in paris california Right. There's a lot of different options that you can do in the local area. Again, just keep it under 45 minutes. You have some options or possibly drive up the mountains to maybe Redlands, California and have do some of the things that Redlands, California has to enjoy. Right. Or maybe even Yucaipa. That's not a bad option whatsoever. Yucaipa actually has the Yucaipa Regional Park where you can do a lot of great activities there. So, again, not too far from entertainment options if you don't do not mind driving so that right there is going to cover con number two moving on to con number three con number four and that's for your parents out there right so if you are a parent and you know you're looking to make a move to Hemant, california and you do have little children's and education is of importance to you just know that the education in Hemet, California, when it comes to public schools, it is not the best. And that's me being brutally honest as a parent myself, right? You know, that can be very, very important to you. Um, but the education, it's, it's pretty subpar. It's pretty average. Uh, it's not anything amazing above grade schools or anything that's award winning it's like Temecula or Marietta. Marietta has the top, the three high schools that they have are in the top 10 best high schools here in Riverside County. And so that's just really impressive to, you know, to me, right, that Marietta has that because I'm, I love Marietta. Uh, at any rate, yeah, so the schools in Hemet, California definitely need some improvement on, you know, hopefully they can get more funding and just approve the school system in general. But, you know, I know that's something that they're constantly working on. So again, if that is of importance, definitely something to consider right there. Now that's gonna wrap up the pros and the cons for this video. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share a market recap of the current market in Hemet, California. So market recap time, that was quick. All right, so 
With Hemet, California, there's a lot of pros associated with going and living in Hemet. Um, and also there's a lot of cons. So if you're looking to move out of Hemet, you know, just comment down below, give me a call, shoot me a text. We'll love to help you make that move out of Hemet as well. So Hemet, California, again, it's not a bad city whatsoever. That's why a lot of people are flocking to Hemet. We're seeing a rapid population growth in the Hemet community just because, uh, you know, a variety of factors. I, num I firmly believe number one, it is affordable housing. Just bottom line, it does have affordable housing. Right. And some of the awesome opportunities that you can get with living in Hammett. Right. I mean, if you're an outdoor enthusiast, then you're OK with going to Hammett, California, because the options, you know, are there for you. Or maybe you're looking to retire soon. Right. Because you're a retiree and you just, hey, you want to go somewhere affordable, then Hammett might be that option as well. And so there's just a variety of factors that why are people moving to Hemet, California? Maybe it's because they see the long term growth of Hemet because they're constantly building in Hemet. Not not like Menifee crazy, but they're still building pretty crazy. Um, I know for a fact that there's a, currently another community about to be built starting in January. Right. Um, and there's over eight, ten. I think there's over ten different communities currently being built right now in Hemet with more to come that just kind of showing you that they have the land to build and they are going to expand and they are going to bring people and so that's just one of the big big features of you know living in Hemet, california is probably that long-term equity that you're going to get living there while all that may seem green great and it is affordable yet you are going to have to wait for some of that transportation right public transportation is not there as well as the improvement of schools because it's not there as well so that's just something to, major to consider again if you don't have a vehicle or a license right and you do rely on public transportation that's something big but overall i do think hemet is a great place it, and, I, and i firmly believe that i help a lot of people move to hemet california and you know i have people telling me nothing but great things of hemet right and so they really enjoy where they live. They enjoy their neighborhood. Uh, they enjoy really the scenic, right? Because it is a scenic city, whether you want to you know, believe it or not, because you're surrounded by beautiful mountains. And I'm telling you, when it snows and those snow, uh, snow capped mountains are there, it's a really beautiful place. And so it, you know, it's all about perspective, how you, how you look at things. Now, yes, there is definitely some improvements that de definitely need to be made within Hemet, California. But overall, you know, Hemet is a great city. I definitely give it an A. And so that's going to wrap everything up for this video. Thank you for watching Living in South California.